Hey everybody, welcome back to my Slice of Heaven Outdoors. I'm Joey. And we're back at the orchard here on Foggy Ridge Farm, planting our next round of chestnut trees. We have uh, 30 more trees going in the ground today, which is, I don't know the date, it's Sunday though. We got here Saturday. We knew we had to do a little work on the tractor first. We had to finish hooking up the auger because the week before we didn't have all the parts, but we brought all the parts yesterday. Got it hooked up and tested the auger and it worked perfect. But then we got it up here to the orchard, put it in the ground, and the auger wouldn't turn. Come to find out the shear bolt fell out of it and every place around here closes at noon on Saturday and this was already like three or four o'clock in the afternoon. And so it took us a little bit to find some bolts to put in the auger. So we're back at it today Sunday. Yesterday we also had to work on the loader behind me. I ran it out of gas the week before and if you ever ran a diesel tractor out of gas you know it's quite the job to get it started again. You got to bleed all the fuel lines, get the fuel going up to the injectors and that took us about seven hours to get it running again. So note to self and note to you all, don't let your tractor run out of fuel. So today we're here and we're getting ready to plant these trees. We're using the auger and what we did, we stretched this green string we came three feet. We came three feet from the trees over. That way, it would make up for the width of the tractor. So, because the outside of the wheel to the center of the auger is three feet, so I can just follow this string line down and drill a hole every 20 feet. And that's what we're doing today. And we'll show you some video of that as we uh, make some progress. So come along and enjoy the video. All right, so. We got everything running. We can actually dig holes with the auger today, but the problem we're having is this shear bolt right here. Because every place was closed today, we could not get a shear bolt, so we're using a regular grade 5 bolt, nut, and washer. But I forgot to bring my socket and ratchet up here, and it's like a half mile walk back to the tools. So we're tightening this bolt up with our fingers, and it only lasts like one hole, then everything comes apart, and we got to put it back together again. In hindsight, I wish I'd have got me a uh, lock washer to put behind this nut, and that would have probably worked out a lot better. But, uh, we're going to dig a hole now. Hey, look at this. I found a lot for it because I think it's too big. <laughs> yeah. Well, that'll probably work. Because as long as it fits in that hole. Give it some washer. Okay.
guys, what we're doing here is Peyton's holding the tape measure at the 17 foot mark. Chris will line it up with this post and we'll put it in and that'll give us our three feet uh, from center like I was talking about earlier from the uh, outside tire to the auger. You got 17 feet? Then we go up to the other end and do the same thing. And we got Ethan and Bill over there. They're planting the trees as we dig the holes. Chris and Peyton are just making sure we have 37 feet from that tree down there to our line, which is right here, just to make sure that it's pretty straight all the way down. And as you can see, it's, it looks like really, like really close. Case. Yeah, she said about an inch off, so that's good enough. All right, thank you. What we do now is we're taking the tape measure and Peyton will hold the one end. Chris will walk out 20 feet. And Chris will stop at 20 feet, make a purple dot three feet from our green line. And we can still actually see some of the purple dots right. from last time, even with all the rain we had here recently. And this will make the purple line, and we'll just do that all the way up our green string line. You're good. All right, I'm all right, good. Walk to our and then Chris measures three feet away from the green line and puts a purple dot. And that's where our holes go.
Well guys, everything was going along pretty smoothly until uh, the bolt sheared off on the auger bit. So we had to run into town and grab some more bolts. So we just lost about an hour and a half. We're only about halfway right now. So we need to get this auger bit back on to the back of the tractor. Actually, just get one ready for now. Because I'm going to have to hold it up there and you're going to have to try to put it in. Yep. And then once we get one in, I won't have to hold it as much. Which is looking good there, baby. Hmm? Which is looking good. There's a couple twos we need to go back and fix from our first planning. Yes. I'd see that. Okay. Maybe Actually, I, I want to get two ready because it just seems better that way. Alrighty. Is that the four inch bolt there? No, it's three and a half. Okay. So that looks pretty long right there. Alright guys, not never have do it, done this before. We tried to put the bolt in this side and it was hitting this metal right here. So it won't go any further. So what we have to do is we have to line the bolts up in these holes so we can put the bolts in these holes on this side. But so now we have that figured out, it should be pretty easy. Alright guys, we should be back in action. it for today we uh got the other 30 trees planted it took us most of the day just about all day really but we got them done the uh tractor sure did help with the auger even though we kept having uh some breaks on the bolts we know to carry extra bolts now we we've already bought extra bolts so we'll always have them um i don't see us planting any more trees this year probably won't plant any more till spring but at least we had the bolts and we know that our system we have going right now is a pretty good system with everybody pitching in. We had Ethan, Peyton, Bell, Chris, and I all pitched in and we got it done today. Um, and that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions about chestnut trees or the chestnut orchard, leave them down below. I love reading the comments and I'll answer them if I can. And if not, I will find you the answer. But uh, that's going to be it for today. I appreciate you all coming along and watching the video. And until next time, y'all have a great day.